You know, it would have made a lot more sense if I could have opened this up previously I recorded. Of course. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting unboxing adventure with the Loot Crate! We are in the month of February and the theme for this month is called Play. And of course I didn't look up to see what contents were inside because I didn't want to spoil. We're gonna go ahead and already open this up. I cannot wait anymore. The first item that I'm pulling out of here is a deck of Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. This kind of looks like um, Cards Against Humanity. This is a 100 card version of the viral card game Super Fight, designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this exclusive deck. Create hilarious fighters with these cards and argue over who would win in a fight between them. Oh snap. So is it kind of like the Batman versus Superman fight that everybody loves to argue about? Which we all know Batman would win, right? Right? I've never heard of Super Fight before. I'm pretty interested to find out how this actually plays out. I don't have any geeky friends here in Colorado. This is actually kind of upsetting. I wonder if other people who got a blue crate um, have this and can play it like online? Like over Skype or something? Skype friends? Oh, this one feels weird. What is this? It's a hex bug! Oh, if you remember from one of the previous loot crates, it was like, I think the hex bugs made them. It's like this cute little thing I got up here somewhere. Oh yeah! This is made by a hex bug. And it's like a little like transforming looking thing. You light it up and it vibrates. Not to be, ooh, really vibrates. And he moves around. Not to be confused with a female boy. I'm not sure what this thing does. What the hell does this thing even do? What do you even do? I'm assuming it's very similar to that other vibrating hex bug. He probably moves around. It's pretty interesting. It's pink. I wonder what other colors they have. It's they, they, There is no instructions on there. It just pretty much tells you batteries go in, thing goes on, and it doesn't tell you what it I guess I have to open it up later and actually see. I don't want to open things up right now. So next thing, oh it's, oh, it's another, it's another one of these things. We got from Assassin's Creed the last time and there was a coin. I feel like dice. Ah, oh, they are dice. Got Lucrece exclusive dices. They've got like fingers on them for like as numbers. So I guess if you're like, if you run out of like your Monopoly dice or something, you know how you always lose your board game dices? Well now you have extra ones and they come in a cute little velvet Ouch. Cool. Next item, this one's a big one. Oh snap. Oh, it's a money! Money world! I love monies. I have like a little bunny rabbit and a little dinosaur and a panda. And now you can create your own art toy. Is it just the money in here? I think it's just, oh no, they come with little, like little pens in them too. That's cute. So you've got like your little money guy in here. Hello money guy, come on out. Little money guy, and he's blank. And you can actually, it comes with like these three tents, and you can design and do everything on it. I'm not very creative like that. Other people have done things like that. I could probably give it to like one of my artistic friends, and he can like create something on it. That would be actually pretty neat. Take it to like a Comic Con or something, and like pay one of your artists to actually design something on there. I think that would actually be a really fantastic idea. Mm hmm. Next item in the box is a book. Oh, I love books. I do love books. So this one is uh, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Enchanting Willy Wonka meets The Matrix. That's actually pretty cool. I've, I needed a new book to read. There's a, a there's one book, I don't even know what it's called anymore. It says Delightful, The Crown Ups, Harry Potter by Huffington Post. Um, so this looks pretty interesting. 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within this world digital confined puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past and the promised massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself facet by players willing to kill to take the ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. I'm going to be reading this starting from today because it's now snowing a huge storm and we're going to be snowing in for like a week. The last bit things we have our pin. 
Lude Crate, February 2015, play theme button. Uh, then there's like a crate packing. Oh, we'll look at that after. Then of course, Callahan Full Board Auto Lock Assault Rifle Full. Uh, can't even speak today. The Overland awaits you, Captain. You must register in order to unlock this premium ship. So I'm assuming that they're going to send in information in our emails about this game. Firefly? I never got into Firefly. I'm not a Firefly person, so I'm kidding. And then we have our playbook that comes in every loot crate. It's got like little things. I They always tend to have like little cut out things in here and that has something to do with the theme of the box. It has all the controllers. I love all the game controllers. What is your game controller of choice? <laughs> Which uh, console is your favorite? Mine has to be Dreamcast because I love them. Then we have finally the box. I guess it goes this way. Crate packing simulator. So um, I guess that's where this paper comes in handy, and it tells you how you're supposed to like put it together. Oh, does this have something to do with that card game? Oh, that all makes sense now. So this card game and the dice have something to do with this massive game that Loot Crate has put together. That's pretty freaking cool. I really wish I had friends here so that I can play because it's boring with between my husband. I don't even know if he can play with me. Yeah, that is our Loot Crate for February play. Um, overall, it's a very interesting um, box. I'm not quite sure how I love it. It's definitely not one of the best ones that they have put together. It kind of looks like cheap last minute gifts like you know when somebody has like a birthday and you kind of forgot and you're supposed to show up to their house and it's like oh shit i gotta go to the store and get some gifts and put them together it's kind of like what this box was like i do really love the book i love me some books um so that was probably the only highlight of this thing everything else i mean it's a cool card game and everything but i don't really have any friends here and most people do get loot crates now anyways, but most of my friends are all in like LA or like somewhere far away and there's no way I'm gonna like slot this to like somebody's house. Let me know what you guys thought about this box. Did you think this was the one for you? Did you like everything that was inside? Did you think it was like big meh? I don't know, they're losing their touch. I hear next month's going to be amazing. So like six to eight exclusive items and it's going to be with like an authorization or authorization like Authenticity! Ah, words! I can't pronounce these things called words. Yeah. Let me know what you guys thought of this, and if you guys are interested in a Loot Crate box as well, I will leave a code in the description down below. You save 10%, I believe that's $3 off, so I'm pretty sure that your total comes to like $18, $20. Math. Who needs to do math? That's what computers are for, they'll do it all for you. It. Thanks for watching guys. If this is your first time here, hi! My name is Panda. You should subscribe down below because I do post videos every Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes every month for loot crates and some other types of unboxing things. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! What? We've got badass sunglasses. Yeah, what? What? Do I look red show now? Eh? Yeah? What? We're gonna keep these on. We're gonna keep rolling with this.